there was a lot of camaraderie there, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, hijinks and fun. And, and how, how many people would be working on a car Physically. on the line at one uh, time? Okay, so I'll be, I'll be here fitting the screen pillar, which is a separate piece there. Um, Dave Smart would be over there, Brian Jenkinson there, and Peter McDuff at the back. So there'd be four. So four, you're a team of four? There'd be a team of four at a certain stage. They're all different stages. But I say Peter McDuff, Brian Jenkinson, uh, Dave Smart, and myself as an apprentice w w would, would be on there. I've just, that's the first time I've remembered their names for 30 years, actually. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's all in there. And they were your kind of team that you yeah, they were Yeah, they were older men, and they, and, and they had skills, but they didn't have the not being rude, they didn't have the premium skills of the guys that actually did the, the welding and planishing or the work, say, on, say, a Phantom, you know, this was like, this was the hyper-skilled area. But the, their skills were relevant to the build of the car, but they were, you know, they, they were panel beaters, but they were panel fixers, you know, yeah. uh, as well. Because yeah. I was going to say, say, this is a wing. Yes. Uh, There's so a, someone is building this okay, so somewhere a, in the yeah. factory. No, originally they were built in. The, they were assembled in a factory out of pressing. You know, the early ones would have been totally handmade. They were made out of a series of pressings with a mesh stitch spot weld that runs throughout there, all the way through there. But oh, yeah. then they, I think, and maybe even Press Steel uh, at Oxford were making them in the end. It would have been a, a cheaper process than that. Extreme. But I presume they would have then had to be. Fitted and oh, yeah. formed, yeah. And yeah. Uh, a lot of work. Absolutely, work. there's a lot. There's a lot of. Fit. It's like the difference between uh, um, a made-to-measure and a bespoke. That's it. Yes, a, 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 we were a, saying. A suit. Yeah. So, say, um, uh, off the rack would be just your normal car from British Leyland. Yes, that that's kind it. Of thing. They're ready to wear, should we say? Yeah, ready to wear. Yeah, yeah. and then, and then this, then. Then, then these, well, you take the standard steel cars, they were sort of, they were, they were um, made to measure, but these, these took it a bit further. These were bespoke. I mean, you know, it's a rather simple analogy, but yeah. like, it kind of works. You know? Yeah. And then the Phantoms, would they have been another level again? Mm-hmm. So only the best. Of Cra the best. Craftsmen were on these. We're on these. Yeah. So these, these, these were. This is. This is actually. This is technically the last real Rolls Royce made because you have a chassis, you have a wooden ash frame within the rear wings there, and some other parts, some steel inner structure. But this is chassis built, and these wings here. Yeah, they, let's just explain to people. Ch chassis built means you could actually lift the whole body off. That's right. Yeah. That's and it. And you would have a. A yep. ladder type frame with the engine, the bulkhead. That's it. You could drive it yep. along with just yep. a chassis there. So, so this wing, I'll try and get from memory of how many pieces. It's made in 16 gauge aluminium, all hand formed. No, there's no, there's no pressings here. Okay. So, so this, so this, 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 this wing. Yeah. So it has a has a join there. So there's it has a join all the way through there. The front was made on a separate jig. You know, you made it, but there was a there was a block that these fronts were made on, chased so into. So this, this this is all a separate piece. That, that's it. Through here, that's in fact, be it came on. it came there. So you had a weld so running. You've got a piece here. Let me get it through. Yeah, you had a weld running through here. Now this is called a catwalk, and from 16 gauge, this was 10 gauge because obviously that's a bit a bit stronger. So, the catwalk is this bit of the car, is it? Yeah, that's the catwalk we call that okay. along, along there. Um, and so you had, yeah, once again, side piece weld. So, so that there'd be a there'd be a weld. Uh, let me get this right now. Through there, uh, then there's a weld through there with this rear piece here. So you've got one, two, three. I don't know how many would it be, five or six pieces from memory? And there's all sorts of little queer welds that run off of there or I off of there. And, and in fact, I've got a bar flipper I can show you that is still where we used to chase that onto the wooden block. But you didn't destroy the block, it was a, a checking fixture, you know? Um, but would one person build up those five pieces and then put them together? G or? Gem generally speaking, depending on what, uh, uh, what orders you had, but a wing... Uh, uh, by the time I was there, would take about two and a half weeks to make. A wing? Yeah, but it, it didn't always, but uh, time just went on and time went on. But as an apprentice, uh, this was an apprentice job, the scuttle. So uh, there's a weld there, and then you'd make the piece here, down there. There'd be a weld through there, and you'd have a, 
a checking jig. You know, it looked like this, you know, like the buck. But you uh, could fit it onto. You could fit it onto, and, and you could do a few little on. taps on there, but you yeah. wouldn't, it's, it's, it's a fallacy that you, you, you smash them like this. These were standard steel pressed, and but we'd crimp or shrink that edge to get this line across there. And then there's a series of two BAs there, of which the spanner, the two BA spanner we made in the training school, um, we used to use, using yeah, it. we're using on there, you know. These doors, uh, they're made in the lower section, and then they're welded through there. So you've got the upper, then there's a spot weld behind there, which is one piece, two piece, three piece on there. So this L is a two piece, is so, it? So you've got, you got a piece to there, which contains all that detailed uh, uh, fluting along there. Yeah. And you have a piece that that's underneath there, there's a spot weld seam, you know, a, a resistance weld. Then it comes down to uh, here, and there's a weld running through there. And then there's the, the main panel, which is, is wheeled. I mean, input. when you see, the, it, on darker cars, it's slightly harder to see. And often, hand washing your own Rolls Royce is a good idea because yeah. you really only appreciate the vibe there, yeah. The, I mean, the work that goes yep. into, like, even there's just that curve underneath yeah. there. Yeah, that's done on a swaging machine by hand, Jenny. Yeah, which I have one of those in the workshop. This, this, but that was an apprentice job, and, so, the, and I was. Um, now this is the wrong word to use, but yeah. technically, I presume that's the easiest part. To yeah, make, there were, there, you were finding for, you were finding your way with that yeah. with that with that job there. Um, but that that one there, um, there's every chance that I made that in 1977 when this was you built. You did this on yeah, this that, specific that actual, car. That actual panel, because I was in there as an apprentice, so there's no reason. You know, to suggest that um, it wasn't me that made that. There was a couple of apprentices in there, um, but we were also working on the front yeah. wings, help, helping out on the front wings. So they'd, they'd let us make the front section, but keep an eye on us, the trainees. Uh, now, with the Corniche, you had four of you working on the car. Yep. A Phantom? Uh, could be a team of one, two, and it, and it varied. There might, you know, the, the, the progress chasers would come up and say, right, we need five roofs and the roofs are these giant panels with a weld running all the way along the length of them um so there'd be roofs waiting around yes to be because there was the panel fixes as well i mean the, the the length of time to build a phantom must have been i can't remember but yeah it seemed they seem to go as it goes off forever yeah <laughs> and, and the really tricky ones particularly when it came because i was on the panel fixing line for a while and again this is all just coming back to me were the alpha cars the a cars which were armored plated so they had anti-ballistic material in the doors the the glass was like this thick yeah and then you had a, an anti-ballistic shell that was underneath the skins so when it comes to hanging the doors there were jacks involved you know, but they were the alpha cars, yeah. And you can't tell them, generally, you can't tell them any different the externally, except they had the special Dunlop Fort tyres on, I think.